Hello everyone, welcome to Fuse Room. This week we're going to talk about pre-delay. What is pre-delay? Well, if you've used any hardware or software unit that is a reverb, you will probably have found something that is called pre-delay. Pre-delay is an interval of time that passes between the dry sound and its generated reverb signal. This means you can set how much time will pass between a dry sound and its generated reverb, meaning early reflections, reverb tail, everything. Now, why would you care about pre-delay? Well, it's essential for tailoring virtual or realistic acoustic spaces for any use. Many records that are usually well done, you can pinpoint that the vocals or a snare sound do have a space around them, but they still sound very clear and direct. There is probably some pre-delay splitting the dry signal and the reverb signal. In this example, we will take some drums that I've recorded weeks ago, and there's nothing on them, they're completely dry. But I've put a reverb, an EMT140 by UAD, which most of you know, and this plugin does have a pre-delay function, and you can set it from zero all the way to 250 milliseconds. First, let's hear the drums with the snare completely dry. So let's hear it with zero milliseconds pre-delay And this is with 250 milliseconds. You can clearly hear from the example that a 250 milliseconds pre-delay makes the reverb happen way after the dry sound. Now, let's find out something that I would set for this track. I want to have the direct hit, but still have that little bit of ambience that will never sound like it was reverb. It has to sound as natural as possible to the room sound that we already have. All right, that explains pre-delay. The mysterious setting you've always overlooked is now something that you can clearly use anytime you want. Ciao.